One useful variation of scatter plots that's available in RAW is hexagonal binning, which is right here. It looks like our little beehive. I'm going to click on that. Now, hexagonal binning is usually best when you have lots of points. And what you're doing is you're using colors to indicate the density of points. I don't have a data set that works really well for that. So I'm actually going to stay with the same movie data that I had before, even though there's only 26 points. But you'll get to see a little bit about how it works. Now at this time, I only have two boxes to put stuff in. I don't get to change the size of things or the color because the sizes are all the same for the hexagons. And the color has to do with the point density. So all I'm going to do here is take the rating of the movies on IMDb, put that into X. And then you can see we just have the beginning of a box here. And then I'm going to take the total box office and put that in Y. And here is our hexagonal bend scatter plot. We have the variable across the bottom, another one up the side, and each of these hexagons is really being wrapped around a single point, except for this one right here, which has two points. I'm going to come over here, turn off show points. And it's a little easier to see that we have this uphill pattern. And again, if we had hundreds or thousands of data points, this would be even more useful as long as you can read the color continuum and understand what constitutes a denser color as opposed to others. But it also gives some nice structure to it. And it might be a little easier to read depending on your data set. And so a hexagonal binning scatter plot can be a very useful alternative in raw.